Tea time and skinny pop. What's it like being back? Learned a lot about eek. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a. You gotta get an instruction manual with that sort of cat. Thing. I know. He needs a bath once a week, you guys. That's a lot for a cat. He does not like it. Last week, Searle returned from South Africa and we sailed from Magdalena Bay, arriving in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, at about 2 a.m. Uh, we are in Cabo. It's very exciting. Uh, check out this. There's like what I thought was a big yacht. And then that pulled in, which is a giant cruise ship. That's so beautiful. Someone is very ready to go to shore. Eek, you're gonna be left here alone for the very first time ever. Okay, we're gonna go check out the shore here in Cabo and uh, see a man about a horse, just kidding. But I have been feeling super dehydrated, even though I've been drinking a ton of water. And I think that this has to do with the water maker. So um, the water maker takes all the minerals and everything out. Are you feeling dehydrated? Yeah. So we're gonna go get some coconut water, maybe? Oh uh, yes, coconut water and some bottled High alkaline water. Yeah, something like that. Look how handsome he is. Can I keep him? Look how beautiful she is. It's fine. Okay. Okay. We met a very lovely woman and she wants to come on a day sail with us, which I think would be super cool. And uh, we had, what are they? Argentinian samosas? Empanadas. Empanadas. I would also just say samosa, samosa. same thing. Like a, a fried pastry with, and it had what, some mints in there with some chili pieces. Yeah, it was Could really good. Could have been spicier though. It's really good. beautiful day in the neighborhood and we are headed for a day sale. We have a friend joining us that we met at a farmer's market. Um, so we're gonna pick her up at the dinghy dock, but first we're gonna go grab a couple things from the store. Searle is outside making the windows beautiful because I was on the phone with Daryl from Precision. So we were talking shop and now we're gonna head in and grab a couple of things and then go for a day sale. I really wanna see if I can hoist the mainsail by myself without help. It is very heavy. So I think my plan is obviously autopilot into the wind and then crank, crank, crank and see if I can get it up. Um, I don't know. Wish me luck. We're gonna go sailing. Dinghy is up, stowed, tied down. I've just done a fluids check. Um, oil was good, coolant was 
uh, just a smidgen low, so I just top that up. Otherwise, fuel filter bowls are clean and we are ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna hand you over to Aubrey and she can tell you what the plan is for today. We just finished. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm working so hard right now. Yeah. <laughs> We're just having deep, deep thoughts and conversations that we'll fill you guys in on later, but look. Okay, I've been told by this handsome man, my first mate, that it is go time. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on the engine. What we're gonna do is turn the Perco to number two, which is our starting bank. And then we are going to fire in the hole. Beautiful. We have already turned on our electronics. Now I'm gonna open the door to my kitties throw all fresh and clean for him okay so we've got everything stowed pretty much oh I just thought of one thing I have this beautiful dolphin sculpture that I got that needs to be put in a home you guys want to see it there it is right there knots of wind. We're on a beam reach. We have just the head sail out. We're going 4.6 knots. Very exciting. And we are sailing nowhere. We're just going to sail until we're done sailing and then see if we can see the sunset. So, tally ho us. Look at my new automatic winches. <laughs> They're Voltong powered. <laughs> I was just about to say that. Electric, hydraulic, or Voltong? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've had a little bit of a yard sale in here. This, I don't know if you guys can see that, is cat food. <laughs> and we're gonna need to find a solution for this. The tools were on the floor. All fun and games until we jibed. On purpose. We jibed on purpose, but uh <laughs> um yeah. We just saw whales jump. They were so far away though, you wouldn't have been able to see them. Hi buddy! Is your food all over the floor? What's going on? Yeah, you guys gotta clean this up. Poodle's gonna help. Good job, boys. Good job. Well, we've just headed back towards uh, that beautiful mountain in Cabo, that little cliff area. Uh, the weather was getting a little bit rough and so we thought we'd just turn around. We're just tacking and jiving out here. Um, practicing, so it's fun. And we had such a lovely, beautiful sail. We saw some whales that were really far off that we weren't able to capture on camera, but it was just 
really absolutely stunning so this is actually the first time we've gone just for a day sale and taken a friend I feel like I really want to do a lot more of that so um, yeah we're gonna have some tea and settle in and read a little bit I know it sounds so boring when there's a party going on out there but we're tired we tacked and jibed and jibed and tacked and now it's time to take a nap oh that's a <laughs> that's a lullaby Okay, we're gonna head over to these beautiful mountains behind us and uh, see how beautiful they are. Thank you! Cyril got the, the bilge mark off of this beautiful vessel, so sweet, as I was doing editing and stuff. So, let's go! Send the buoys. I know the buoys are weird. Yeah. Now let's go look at the arch. Okay. And then we can suss out where we're gonna fly the drone to get you guys better content. There's lots of tourists here. Beach. Two with the two with the 